Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 3, Lesson 1, 1D Arrays, Exercise Number 3. We have another Choose Your Own Adventure. Kids, the answer to this solution is almost identical for all three, just entering what you are more interested in. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I am a dog fanatic, so I'll be doing B, Dog Breeds. Let's go ahead and jump into the lesson. The local pet adoption center wants to create a list of the dog breeds currently available for adoption. In pets.java, we're gonna write the create pet breeds method to declare, initialize, and return a string array using an initializer list. The array should contain the following values. Alaskan Husky, Beagle, Dalmatian, German Shepherd, Great Dane, Lhasa Apso, Pug, and Whippet. Never heard of that one. We're going to write the get number breeds method to return the length of the pet breeds array. In my console.java, we are going to call the get num breeds method and print the results. Curious about the data set? You can learn more about the breeds and stuff here. And again, kids, I recommend you take a look at this. Anytime they give you data, it helps you understand where it comes from. Let's go ahead and get started. We need to be over in the pets class. We have a private string pet breeds, and this looks like it is creating an array. And remember when we see those square braces, that's what it is. We have our default constructor here, and it is calling create pet breeds is equal to pet breeds. And we have our get pet breeds returns pet breeds. And then we have create breeds here. And again, kids, this is what is initializing these two here. We're setting the pet breeds equal to our create pet breeds method that we have to write. We're returning null, which we're going to change. And then we're going to write our get num breeds length and return that. Well, this isn't so hard, kids. Remember how we write an array with elements to initialize? We do our data type, square braces, array list name, just like we declare an empty array. We use equal, and this time we don't use new, we use curly braces and whatever we want to store. If we're doing a string, we're going to put words, ints, integers, doubles, doubles. This time we're doing a string. That means we are going to do a string data type, square braces. We're going to use the variable values because that's what they are, the equal, and then some curly braces. Don't forget your semicolon. We have to add these names in, and I think we can just copy and paste them in so we don't have any spelling errors. And we can. Now we don't want to return null. We want to return whatever values is. So whenever we call create pet breeds method, we are going to get whatever stored in values. And let's just tab this over here and over here. We're not done. We're not done yet. We have to return the length of our array. And remember kids, our array here is under create pet breeds. We set create pet breeds equal to pet breeds and pet breeds is our private instance variable. That means we really want to call the instance variables length and that is pet breeds. And we're doing the dot and we learned last time the modifier dot length will return the length of the array list. Well, that is it. We go back to my console. Now we have to call get num breeds and print it off. So we're going to go system.out.println. And inside here, we're going to say number of dog breeds is 
and then we're going to concatenate plus what is our object name here dog breeds and what method are we calling get num breeds don't forget your parentheses well that should be it now when i hit run i should get the number of dog breeds and we should get one two three four five six seven eight printed off down here well let's see if i'm right kids And there we go, kids. We got eight printed off. Looks like it worked exactly like we thought. Key takeaways from this lesson, kids, is how we create a array list that has elements stored at each index. Much like when we create an empty array list, we use the data type square brackets and the array list name we use the equal. This time though, we use curly braces and whatever we're populating within it. Strings, we would put words, ints, integers, and doubles, doubles. We set our private instance variable equal to our method. Our method stored our array list. So anytime we called a method, we were accessing the private instance variable. Hopefully kids, this video helped you understand how to create a array with elements in it. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.